I spent most of my life, uh, most of my childhood, uh, living outside the United States in different countries every year. And um, it was an extremely valuable experience in the sense of uh, developing both a, an appreciation for diversity of cultures and approaches to life and values, um, but at the same time also giving me a strong uh, capacity to adapt quickly to very different environments. And uh, as our uh, world has become more and more um, uh, uncertain and rapidly changing, I think that kind of capacity becomes more and more valuable. So, um, so that was a big, big part of uh, my childhood. I, I think uh, if I had to focus on one experience, it would be um, getting almost thrown out of third grade. Um, <clears throat> at the time, I was living in Caracas, Venezuela, and I made a great discovery one day, which was that um, I could forge my mother's signature. And so I started writing notes to my teacher from my mother asking if I could be excused from class because I had doctor's appointments. And I became known as the most sickly child in third grade. <laughs> uh, and I was in at the time in, in Venezuela, and I, what I did was I would leave school and go out into the barrios of uh, Caracas, which were the very poor areas, and just spend my day exploring. Um, I was extremely bored in school, um, but I just was fascinated with the phenomenon of people coming in, many of these people coming recently from the countryside looking for opportunity and the excitement and the um, optimism of the people in terms of potential and possibility was very energizing to me and a complete complete contrast to uh, my experience in class, which was this rigid, top-down, you know, do what, do what you're ordered to do and uh, in the sequence that you're ordered to do it. And so as my introduction to what I call push, push systems of uh, managing people, which is, you know, basically we can predict what you're going to need and you're just, your job is just to take it and, and uh, accept it when it happens. And I've always had a uh, strong resistance to those kinds of push systems. There, were, there was no push system in the barrio. This was all about people taking initiative and, and pulling out things when they needed them, where they needed them. And so it's just a stark contrast between one way of living life and, and an alternative way. It's throughout my life, and I think it goes back to, to those experiences in Caracas, I've really been energized and, and inspired by... Um, the opportunity to create platforms that help to draw out the potential and possibility for people. Um, and in, in many respects, I think the barrios, again, it's a, there are multiple dimensions to it, but at least the one dimension, we're very much a platform to help people who are in, in abject poverty in rural areas to come into a big city and, and find more opportunity um, to achieve their potential. And, I, most of my career has been spent in Silicon Valley, um, actually starting with the startup that I did, uh, Sequoia Group, back in 1980. Um, so I've been in Silicon Valley for more than 30 years now, and, and what attracted me to Silicon Valley was the notion of the role of information technology in providing similar platforms to help people achieve more of their potential and possibility. And I've just been incredibly inspired. It's been a thread throughout, throughout both my, the startups that I've done and the, uh, the management consulting that I've done over time is uh, how to harness that potential, that, the, that technology to, to help people achieve more of their potential. The World Wide Web, in many respects, uh, I view as a bit of a detour or diversion um, in the sense that uh, it really focused people very much on the notion of accessing content. Um, and it was a powerful device to help do that. Um, 
On the other hand, the early um, history of the internet was very much around helping to connect people uh, in discussion groups and conversations. And I think over time we've, we're coming full circle back to that notion that the primary value of, of these technology platforms is to help connect us together and help us build relationships um, or at least supplement relationships that uh, we, we have in physical space um, and scale them in ways that we couldn't do in physical space. And so I think that um, that's really, to me, the most exciting direction and, and opportunity. And you know, social networks are certainly uh, an interesting manifestation of that. But you know, I, I still believe there's, there's a lot more that can be accomplished uh, in terms of helping to connect people, build communities of, of trust and relationships that will, that will help us to develop our talent more rapidly. I think that's ultimately where I see a lot of this heading. It's you know, one thing to have conversations around interests and, and be able to share interests with other people. But creating environments where people can learn faster and um, accomplish more, I think, is really going to be the interesting, again, opportunity that's ahead.